just a little follow up on my uh, 250 uh, quad build. <clears throat> I uh, just received uh, a new um, power distribution board uh, which has uh, 12 and 5 volts rails. Uh, so I'm going to swap out the, um, the power distribution board that I have. Uh, this one can also be connected uh, to the um, receiver or to the flight controller. So I will see what I will do with that. I also received this uh, D4R2 from um, FR Sky, uh, which in my understanding has the, uh, the PPM output and the telemetry. Uh, that means that I can remove this um, PWM standard receiver with the PPM encoder and I can um, basically remove this uh, power distribution board which is too large and I can redesign and have a more slick uh, build. Uh, <clears throat> I'm also going to swap out these two uh, zip ties uh, antennas uh, with the... Uh, <clears throat> With, uh, with this uh, and I was thinking of maybe I can mount it back here something like this uh, I will have a better uh, more space for the battery and so on and, and with this power, power distribution board I can uh, run this uh, quad on 4 cell that's my intention uh, then uh, the camera and all that can still run on uh, 12 volt so, um, um, I will only film parts of it, uh, part of the build. There is no need for to film when I take this, rip this thing apart. And but I, I will probably um, uh, make uh, a few uh, more uh, shots with uh, connecting this power distribution board and and so on. I can also. This is the first time that I use the. Matex systems for distribution board. It has a lot of features, so we can take a look at that. So let me get starting to take this apart, and uh, I will see you later. Okay, I'm uh, in good shape here. I feel um, I have uh, uh, taken the quad apart and cleaned it up, and is um, on my way putting it together. So I have sorted on the. Um, the ESCs to the uh, power distribution board and uh, and made sure that the engines are spinning the correct way. <coughs> um, what I wanted to point out here, I don't know, this is very, very tiny, so I'm not quite sure if I will be able to, to show it, but um, so let me find something that is not conductive. So this uh, power distribution board has um, has a, a BEC. Let me see where I am. I? Here I am. Uh, so this power distribution board has a BEC built in. Uh, by default, this is five volts. Uh, you can't change it to twelve volts. Then you have to remove. Let me see. Remove this uh, ohm, this resistor, right there. Oh, it's so hard. I have to. Just beside the BEC there is a, a resistor and there are some solder pads on this side which has to be connected. So when you remove that resistor and connect those two pads, this BEC will output 12 volts. Also I have, <clears throat> I have uh, for the moment um, uh, set the uh, low voltage alarm to 3.6 volts which is the highest 3.4, 5, and 6. Just press and hold the buttons for 3 seconds and then you can change it. And just let it stay there and for 5 seconds it will save the new settings. You have some LED uh, pads uh, on each side. I'm not going to use this, these for now. And you have one output here which you can connect to to your uh, flight controller or to uh, to the receiver. To, uh, to trigger lost alarm and uh, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not quite sure if I want to use it. I have the low voltage alarm, but I will also have the telemetry uh, on the flight controller, the NACE32. 
uh, output to my Tarani. So I will have the, the, low, the voltage alarm there and um, I'll see if I, I don't think I will be able to connect this uh, as is to the NACE32, uh, but I can connect it through PWM on my receiver. Uh, but the, that, the receiver is going to be connected to the flight controller through PPM. So I'm not quite sure if I will be able to use it. I, I think I will be, but I don't know how much time I want, I want to put into it. So what I need to do now is to, uh, to remove the, the, the resistor and to solder those two pads together. Uh, so, I, so the BEC outputs 12 volt. Then I will connect my, uh, my camera to that uh, BEC. So the, uh, the um, receiver will receive uh, 12 volts from the EEC, which is going to be connected to the flight controller. So I don't need the 5 volts on, on this one. I could, of course, like I did with the other power distribution board, I could uh, just um, tap the 12 volts directly from the, uh, from the power distribution board where the engines are. I couldn't actually see, when I tried it yesterday, I couldn't see any lines on the video or on anything, but if I do take out the, uh, the 12 volt, then I'm quite sure that um, this, uh, this BEC is going to prevent any spikes in the, in the power when the engine starts to, to run. Uh, the, how, if this is trustworthy, then the time will show, because if this PC blows up, I will lose video. Um, but uh, if, the, if it's just a BEC, I will hopefully not lose control of it, because um, then the, um, the receiver is, uh, is getting power from the ESC, which is directly connected. So we'll see about that. So that was the, what I need for now. I'm going to just um, uh, attach the ESCs and clean everything up and uh, put some uh, thread lock on all the screws and, and uh, finish up that and, and clean it all up. And uh, next time uh, I put out uh, next, on the next video, I will um, I'm, I'm probably, uh, probably uh, done with the with the quad so just a setup in the in the base flight so okay so I'll see you later yeah just a, a short note i have uh, now um made the necessary changes i did um let me see if i can get this on camera so i have removed the uh the resistor there and i uh, soldered on a tiny tiny piece of uh, a wire to connect those pads and I have verified so that this is outputting uh, 12 volt or 11.56 volts this is almost 12 volts uh, but I a uh, note to this I sh you probably should consider this um, a one-way operation because this uh, this uh, this resistor is so extremely small um, I, um, I do have it, I do have it here, uh, but I don't think you will be able to, to, to get this back on. So, uh, if you were, are at least able to, 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 to keep it <laughs> when you need it. So that's all I wanted to say. Uh, this is outputting 12 volts, so I, at least I can now connect my um, camera to it. It does say in the manual that you change the, uh, the, the functions of the LEDs uh, when you do this, because you can't control 12 volts LEDs, does it say? I don't know if that's correct, but anyway. If um, the, 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 the uh, idea is that you can, with this mode, uh, connection you can um, change the mode of the LEDs to get it to flash or something but if I want LEDs on this one it's for it's for direction and then I want them to to light up all the time so I don't think that's going to be a problem so I will just continue <laughs>